What's up, crawlers? It's Crawler Baller. Doing another video today because I wanted to do the next step in my crawler course build because I got a little farther and I wanted to keep you all updated and kind of give you a little, I don't know, status of the headquarters or whatever. I don't know. I'm chilling out here. I'm not making a, a crawler video. I just want to show y'all what I'm doing over here. And hopefully not sound like an idiot doing it. I feel like I already failed at that, but whatever. Anyways, so if you remember, in my last video, step one, or step one was just to build the table. And step two, we're gonna bring in a bunch of dirt, which I did. Pardon the truck outside, there's a street out there. Anyway, so in the other video, I put a bunch of dirt in here. And then last night, I um, took the water hose that's right out there and just sprayed this whole thing down. So it's starting to get pretty firm. And I know it looks kind of gritty, but I promise you, the more water I add to this, this is going to be real, real nice. And the main reason why I add the water to this and I, I build the dirt up the way that I do is because ultimately, let me see if I can find a good good one to show y'all. This, all right, or any of these. So the point is, is if I was to just put dirt in here and leave it loose or whatever, and then start putting in rocks, when your truck gets to you know the obstacle, you might be able to get yourself up onto it. But usually what happens is if this is all loose, then your back tires are not gonna be able to really have a chance to get up onto any rocks that you have in your course because you're just gonna burn out on loose gravel at the bottom of the obstacle. And there's nothing more annoying than spending a bunch of time building a cool obstacle and then realizing that your truck can't even get onto it because it's too loose on the bottom or the rocks are on top of the dirt so I like to try to make it to where everything is coming out of the dirt and then it's really, really solid around the edges and ideally everywhere else too, unless I'm like mudding or something like that. But anyways, so you can kind of see here where I started getting some bigger rocks to um, start establishing a trail for what I where I want these trucks to go because I don't want it to be I've got a lot of course here I'm not worried about like stuffing in a bunch of obstacles on this table I don't care if there's only like two I just want it to look really good there's gonna be way more than two but uh, you know what I'm saying so for this area what I think I'm gonna do we'll use this one as an example I'll probably end up cutting away at this one by or two by two and getting that out of there kind of like what I did over here because that's two separate heights but not quite as drastic as over here so I'm gonna end up cutting this away a little bit and then doing some sort of rock thing there so that you actually just get on the course from there and then I think there's gonna be a gigantic tree line going from there to there. So you won't be able to get from there to that side without going around. And that's kind of the point. So I'll do like a little two track thing going this way. And then we're gonna end up going through there. And I'll have, I mean, you'll probably be able to go up on there or over there or anything like that, but I'm probably gonna do lots of greens and shrubberies and tr I'll, I'll save trees for later. Don't, let's not worry about trees right now. But the trucks will go through here and around this way. And there's ob obviously gonna be lots of options for obstacles and stuff like that around here. But we'll keep going if we were like in a trail truck. That's what I like about my course, really. You could take out the most trail trucky rig and should be able to get through it. But if you also have like a buggy or something like that and you wanna take some gnarly 
obstacle, then you should be able to do that. But the goal is gonna be that if you could take a trail truck around, oops, I'm stuck, around, so the trail will be like there, going around, around here. And then I'm not sure what sort of scenery or something I'm gonna do, but I think the trail is gonna keep going this way and then that might be just like something you can get to with like, I'll put a lot of greens and stuff like that around there. Um, but ideally, we're gonna keep going around to this way. And then I'm not sure what I wanna do <clears throat> exactly, but I think ultimately the goal would be, this would be like some sort of campsite that you were trying to get to. So um, I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but I saw in the hobby shops, there's like this liquid stuff that you can pour and it like uh, hardens and it kind of looks like a, you know, a river or something like that. I might do something like that. Not sure. I mean, this is probably step one or step three out of 10 or so. I don't know. I'm just kind of going, just making it up as I go. But ideally, I'm going to have this section done in the next, well, I have to do it by the 28th. So that's in three weeks. Because Jason's RCs is coming and He's already got his flight, and I think uh, upper left is definitely coming down from the Portland area. And I wanna have this section looking very, very special. So once I get all of those rocks down and like a trail, and then I'll start bringing in some more dirt and making um, different elevations and stuff like that. And then I'll start bringing in smaller rocks because, you know, to do like stuff like this. But anywho, the place is starting to look pretty clean though. What projects do I have to do? I need to take that bike and chair to storage. Let's see what else. That's kind of organized. We need some more stuff for the fridge. These are all my weed stickers I get from the weed store. Oh yeah, and I need to uh, clean out a few things under there. Make more ideas for our videos that we're gonna do with Jason's. And that's about it. Anyway, guys, it was kind of a random video, but just wanted to kind of document what I had going on here because I think it will be really interesting when this is done to go back and see how it all came together. All right, guys. Well, I'll keep you updated on the course build as I make progress, but until then, I'll see you all again real soon. Peace.